All right, guys, I made a video today. I wanted to show you these concepts, combination concepts I came up with. And as I uh, looked at a video between Michigan and Notre Dame, and this is uh, Michigan's empty set on offense against the defense that Notre Dame threw at them. So we're going to have three different concept combinations against this specific set that I drew up. Now, the first one is jet screens in combination with a bang post by a slot. Now, X and Z are going to be your jet screens. On your trip side, you're going to have your two inside slots do lead blocking for the Z jet screen. Now, backside twin side on the X jet screen, your slot is going to run a bang post. He's going to attack the outside shoulder of the free safety, and then as he makes him turn, he is going to bang post it in between the void between the free safety and the linebacker dropping. Now, this is a quick pass. Quarterback gets this snap in the shotgun, and he delivers the football to either X or Z. And in this case, Notre Dame is playing 8 to 10 yards, 10 yards off with their deep secondary. So this is an easy completion. But you also have to have a vertical attack point. And that's why the bang post with the slot on the twin side comes into action. Second play is a combination X read, seam read, slot fade, and a shallow cross. Now, on the trip side, your X and your slot are going to run the run and shoot read concept. You see there, number three is going to run a seam read. He has five different choices. The first one is you see the defensive end running up the field and the linebacker dropping into coverage. That creates a void. So we can attack that void. Now he, if he does not have that, he can get 10 to 12 yards down the field and make his choices on the free safety and the linebacker wherever they are in coverage. Now on the read route on the outside too, you're reading the flat defender. Does that rover attack the shoot route into the flat? Or does he drop to take away the post and then the corner rolls up? If that corner rolls up, I'm going to have X plant his foot and just bang it to the house. Now, backside, we have the shallow cross by Z to take advantage of the area being vacated by the blitzing linebacker. That's an easy completion because you do not have anyone up close that can drop off. They send the defensive end to the outside, the linebacker inside. This, and the tackle on that side bull rushes. This created a easy sack for the defensive end. Now, you add that shallow by Z, you have a hot route. And you have the inside slot run a slot fade. He attacks deep. Now, if any, any the, if the strong safety of the corner try to attack the shallow, that's why you put that slot fade in. Attack vertically. Number three is the hook special on the trip side and a corner slant under on the twin side. Now, X is going to run a six-yard hook. Mandatory, six-yard hook. Your number two slot runs a switch seam read. He makes his choice at 12 to 15 yards. Your third slot, he runs the corner, 10 to 12. Now, on this switch route, number two is waiting for number three. Number two cuts underneath number three on the switch. Got to tell you that as a coaching point. Now, on the twin side, we have a corner route by the slot, 10 to 12. And then you have a one-step slant by Z. As you see here, Notre Dame sent their linebacker on a blitz. They created a void green grass to take advantage of. That's why that one step slant by Z comes into effect really quick and really fast. He's open, so take advantage of it. Well, guys, those are the three combination concepts that I drew up against that specific defense that Notre Dame ran. And 
if anybody runs into that situation in that coverage, then those are the concepts that can be utilized to break that defense's back. <sighs> Put them to good use, guys, because I do too. And as always, keep coaching.